now let's talk about persistent programming languages okay persistent programming languages so what are these these are simply languages which allow storage retrieval and manipulation of persistent objects okay we've already seen what a persistent object is okay so these languages would have their objects living beyond the execution of the program okay even when the program is over the objects would probably be stored in a database and that object you can use when the program comes back up another time okay so that is the concept of persistent programming languages so now we are going to see how in a persistent programming languages an object is made persistent okay so we are looking at approaches for making objects persistent okay so approaches for making objects persistent so what we can do is we can create objects from a persistent class so we have persistence by class what do we have in this particular approach over here a class can be made persistent okay or can be declared persistent and over here every object that is created from this particular class this particular class would be by default a persistent object okay so once a class has been declared persistent every object of this class would be by default persistent okay so let me just finish this thing off would be by default persistent another approach that we have over here is we can have persistence by creation okay so next is persistence by creation what is this in this approach we can have a separate syntax for creating a object as persistent okay so you can have a special keyword using which if you apply it to an object it would become a persistent object okay its creation during the process of creation of the object if you use that keyword the object would be created persistent okay so a separate syntax for creating a persistent object over here okay in this case although your class may not be persistent okay let's suppose i have a class name as shape this class is not persistent but i can use something like this i can say create shape persistent okay and within this i can have my shape 1 okay so now shape 1 would be created as a persistent object okay so that's the concept of persistence by creation okay let me just take everything off next approach that we have is persistence by reachability okay we have seen the concept of reachability okay so in that example in complex objects we had seen that there could be a object like department okay and this object in itself might have an object like manager okay then it can have employees right and within this employees you can have a employee 1 employee 2 and so on so in this process in in the concept of persistence by reachability what happens is if you say department is persistent then every other thing that can